That is Clay Walker. She won't be lonely long on 103.5 WEZL. Good morning. Uh, Gary Griffin, Rick Rush, and of course it's Tuesday, so Kay Hyman is here from the uh, Charleston Animal Society. Good morning, man. Hello, Good Kay. Good morning. And doesn't she look lovely in she black? She does. Thank you. She I looks lovely in black. So yes. that the dog that I had on TV this morning on your show yeah. is going to show up against yeah. me because if I was wearing anything else, uh, she would just disappear. I love the size. This sure? is Gloria. She is a Gloria. lovely creature. So many songs. Yeah, I know, I know. Came to my mind. Now, tell me, you, you, this is a, a tough case because Gloria is a remarkable animal, but nobody's given her a chance to go home. And if you ha- are my Facebook friend last night, you probably got really tired of the column after column that I, I turned read. you off. I, I, did, I, 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 yeah. I believe that. Well, I, I wrote a blog about her last night. She's breaking staff's heart. She's breaking my heart. It, it just... It's incomprehensible why but she's this, not at a home. She's exactly. At for her, for why she is in a homeless shelter? I yeah. mean, she's phenomenal. What is she exactly? She's a hound. Look at her. Isn't she great? Look at her sitting and being so yeah. good. I think she's like a maybe a lab. She's got some pit in her. Staffy looks, mix. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what they have. Staffy blend on her paperwork. But um, she's 61 pounds. She's very powerful. But I'll tell you what, TJ. When I when I went to the door to let Kay and Gloria in. Mm-hmm. Just wagging her tail and friendly oh, as she hadn't be. Stopped. She is just a wonderful, friendly dog. And Check she- her out online, by the way. If you don't know, if you want to see what the kind of animal we're talking about, wecl.com, the morning crew page. It's there for She's you. She's great. Uh, and that, how old an animal is this? She's approximately um, one to two years old. Classic time that an animal comes into the shelter. When she came in, she had had pups recently. Um, she was spayed. Um, she did spend some time in the kennel cough pod, so that d- did add to her time at mm-hmm. the shelter. Yeah. But she has been there since December 15th. That ain't right. She, that needs, ain't right. To go, she needs to go home. And, it, and staff kept telling me about her, but when I would go by her cage or I'd come in early in the morning, she was very protective and barked at me, and I thought, well, I can't take her. Mm-hmm. And then staff kept pleading with me, please just take her out, take her out, spend some time with her, and I did. And then I realized it's the cage. Being in that cage, mm-hmm. um, the heightened barking around yeah. her it, it it really is um it changes their persona they go a little crazy they do and yeah. being they we call it, there's actually a term cage rage that dogs get after they've been caged for a period of time that's why we're absolutely not you know we're against 100 percent against warehousing of animals because yeah. it, it does it they degrade Physically and mentally when they're in a cage that long. That's why we have some really awesome um, programs that we do to stimulate their um, uh, need to hunt for food, things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, she laid next to my bed last night. Um, She would not get up on it. I tried to get her to. She wouldn't. She laid there. She slept all night long. Good with Zoe? She's gone outside. Good with Zoe? Great with Zoe. She just needs to be with an older child because Mm. she's so powerful. All she has to do is put her paw. Yeah, and she's gonna knock a or child turn over. around and hit him with her butt. Yeah, you know, yeah, she's a so, hefty dog. Yeah, yeah, she's healthy. So she needs someone who is um, willing to stop that girl, who's willing to. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I think we got it all on tape. But yeah. she needs someone who's willing to um, send her to our classes, our canine college, which are yeah. just wonderful. But as you can see, when she starts playing, she is a playful girl. Well, she's a great dog, and she needs to get a forever home. She does. She does. Gloria is available today and absolutely. Hey, baby. See, she knows her name, How and that's doing, just Gloria? from being at the shelter. Wow. Hi, sweetie. Like what a sweet girl. Uh, also, today is uh, Spay Day, USA. Spay Day, uh, the day set aside uh, to remind folks that uh, spay is the way uh, to oh, save like that. That to, to save again. to save the lives of animals. I'm that just telling you that. And uh, a lot of folks say, "Well, I can't afford it." Well, you know what? Today's the day you've been mm-hmm. waiting for because they have a a, a low fee spay neuter clinic going on today, uh, along with our our friends over at Petco. They they uh, gave you guys a grant they for did. this. They gave us a grant. So what we're going to do is, if you qualify. Um, you need to be on uh, or know someone. Get your grandmother or whoever needs to have their pet spayed and neutered. Anyone on Social Security, any kind of government assistance who qualifies um, for 
that um, program, we will offset the cost. There's normally a $20 copay. We're going to offset that to as many people as we can qualify That's today. As long as the money lasts. Yes. Yeah. So That's please great. just call our clinic, 556-7729, to see if you qualify. And um, if you do, um, the, today is the day to, to make that appointment. Um, otherwise, um, we're always, if you don't get through today or if you ha if you are um, do not qualify, we have programs all the time that are helping animals. Like if you have a pit bull mix or a Staffordshire Terrier mix, there's a um, co-pay for that, and we have a grant to help with that. So it's just there's a, there's a way to get it done. Don't hesitate. Call the clinic, 556-7729. And um, particularly today, we want to um, help you to get that done. Especially if you live in Charleston County and you're on any kind of government assistance, any kind, right. uh, you can qualify for this, courtesy of our friends at Petco. Right. Uh, the number again. 556-7729, and that's part of a grant that we received from them, um, and we're so grateful. Um, and we're working with uh, many organizations right now, so if you want to help someone who is low income to get um, their pet spayed and neutered, you could also uh, make a donation Absolutely. to the shelter. Absolutely. To you donate 100 that. bucks. that's 5 uh, people with animals exactly. uh, that that can get it can get it done. And you can earmark it for spay neuter. We actually had a group out of from Best Friends Sanctuary. Yeah, I love them. Out of um, Utah. Uh, Utah, that is the head of their pit bull division. She called me and emailed me, and she's going to start making a monthly donation specifically to help with the pit bull spay neuter. All the way from Utah, I was so excited That's about awesome. that. That's great. There are ways to save animals' lives that you just cannot imagine, and the folks over at the Charleston Animal uh, Society are, are delving into every yeah, one every of them. Day, so. Man. If you have any any interest, any desire whatsoever to save the life of an animal, uh, then then get involved with the and Charleston Animal Society. And if you live in Society. North Charleston or you live close by us, you know it would be good to use our clinic. But don't um, hesitate to call Pet Helpers yes. Clinic as well. Right. They have a clinic and they also have programs where they will help you. They don't have this exact same one. But, you know, call them if you live on Folly um, or you live on James Island and it's closer for you to get your animal there, call their clinic. Good deal. And if you want to see Gloria... Uh, get on the morning show page, <laughs> wezl.com, morning crew page, and uh, check her out. She's absolutely beautiful and ready to go Let's home. Let's get today. her home today. Cool. Please, okay, please. always a pleasure, darling. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.